Hello, friends. Today I want to talk about the intraday charts. Last time I spoke about the 10-day simple moving average on a daily chart, but today we're going to focus on the 15-minute chart because somebody asked me in that last video, well, when's the best time to take profits? When's the best time to sell? And I have a great answer for you. And it's a very simple answer, and that's the most important part. We want to keep trading as simple as possible. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the idea. It's a 15-minute time frame and we're using a 10 period simple moving average. Okay, it's just looking at the last 10 candles. And our signal candle is the moment that we get a closing candle. That little red one right there was the beginning of a closing candle underneath the 10 SMA. And that signals a slowing in momentum. And that's usually a great point to get out before everybody else realizes the movie theater is on fire and they're all rushing to the exit at the same time. But you, as a uh, good risk manager, quietly recognize that first red candle closing under the rising 10 SMA and that tells us the momentum is dying okay that's what we want to look for a couple good examples of trades to stay in um, our EVB you can see here in RVEB our EVB all day long it held that 10 SMA telling you as a trader no need to get out all right we want to let our winners run and cut our losers quick but we want to let our winners run and this is the best way to do it the most simple way to do it. Um, let's look at another example of not wanting to get out. INTU, into it should have some further momentum into tomorrow. It's basically following the 10 SMA. It never closed below, okay? But again, we can find some examples that do close below, and in hindsight, it gives us the perfect opportunity to say, wow, you know, if I had just looked at that closing candle below the rising 10 SMA, momentum's probably dying. I can get out before the rest of these people, okay? So this is really a intraday or maybe a one or two day swing trading technique about when to take profits. We're always going to kick ourselves for taking profits too early and we're always going to kick ourselves for maybe staying in too long. But this is a great way to just maximize uh, the risk management and try to get the most out of a winning trade that you can. So I hope that makes sense. Hope that helps and good luck out there.